everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be changing the two arms on my Mavic Mini. As you can see they're both quite badly damaged. If you'd like to see how that damage happened, please check out the previous video to this one and you'll soon see. Other than that, let's open it up and have a look to see how easy it is to change these arms. here this loosens off the top cover screws are so small so try not to lose them down there and I've found the easiest thing to try and pop that off is a card I tried with a little screwdriver, but I'm worried about damaging it or scratching it. So at the moment, I'm just sort of going round, go around the edges and just prying it off with that. Just like that. As you can see there, all the wires have now come off. What I'm going to do now is the same as the bottom. I'm also going to take this and remove this top piece off here. You can see so it's just gently prising it off. I will say that these come with little tiny little clips on, so I'd be very careful when you do it. That's my only piece of advice at the moment. But other than that, it's going well. So what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to remove that cable, so then I can remove the two arms. So what I'm going to do now is undo the two screws there. And if I can, I'm going to push, push the pin through, just like that. And then this should pull straight out like that. And that's what goes down through. So now the arms are loose, I shall try and feed the wires back out through and remove them. one arm off and then cable back through to the other side back through there feed it through so it can come out What I personally did was I got a bit of soldering wire and I threaded it down through and then just put it around the end and then just pulled it straight up like that. That's the easiest way I found to do it. That's one arm done. Like I say, I'm no expert, but they're on there nice and strong. So moving on to the next arm, the front arm. I'm just about to start feeding the wires through there. And this was the tricky one of trying to get all three wires, or actually four wires, sorry, through that little tiny gap. You probably can't see it's very hard to see on there but well just in there there's a little tiny little gap there it looks like 
it's got like a bit of silicone there to stop it rubbing so I'll just feed these through now I would just say this is probably is the trickiest bit I've had to do so far is getting all four of these wires back through back through that tiny little gap you can get get two through and want to come back and that sort of that sort of thing but I've just got the red wire left to get back through and we'll be all good so finally got there so all the wires are back through safely they're all nice in there not snagged anywhere so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this arm back on so just putting that pin back down in there and just making sure that it fits properly before I screw it back down in there just got to make sure that obviously the wires inside are pushed right back out the way just so it can actually go back down through so I managed to get the spring clip back in there it's quite tricky to get back in because obviously it's spring loaded it took a bit of um, bit of getting back in but I'm going to screw that back in now so it's nice and secure Right, that's that back in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to attach, reattach the antenna cable, which literally just goes straight onto there, where it come off of. I like to feed that back, back through, just like how it come come out. That just pushes on. Just like that. So all the wires are now soldered all back on again. So I'm going to start clipping all the all the covers back on now like I said they've just got tiny little clips so you have just got to be a bit a little bit gentle but if you just take your time it will be okay Let's get the other cover on. Cover on. Right. So now the antenna cable's back on. All we've got to do now is put the cover back on, which we took off. It just sits back on there, just like so. So I popped on the top cover and the bottom cover. Everything's screwed up nice and tight now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to replace all the props because they also got damaged as well so all the props are back on and we're back to where we started it's all all done all the work's been completed and I'm quite happy so it's the moment of truth is it gonna fly let's test it out So, all seems to be working, I'm quite happy. Thank you so much everybody for watching my video, hopefully it's been useful to you. I want to give one piece of advice and that is that I've only just found out that DJI actually do a cover plan and the cover plan is about £35 a year and that includes two breakages a year. So that would have covered the damage on my drone. There is a clause in that I believe that you have to register your drone within so many days or so many hours of purchase. So if you guys are thinking of getting a drone, I'd highly recommend looking into that. But I'm so happy that it's back together and it's not a complete write off. If you like the video, please press like. And if you could help me so much by smashing the subscribe below, 
to help me grow my channel, that'd be great. Till next time.